Okay, let's create the comments entity. I will start by generating a, a module. I will call it a comment. Yes, so I have a folder now that has the comment module. I will create a new file called comment.entity.typescript. So I will, just to save time, I will basically copy the post entity. Just let me just minimize everything. Yes, this is fine. So just copy everything from here and put it here since it, it will look a little but a little much uh, similar so when i save everything prettier should fix it okay so i will change the uh, name of the entity to comments brawler so i will have the id primary generator column i will remove the title uh, i will leave the body and many instances of the comments would belong to one user, which is correct. But uh, we will access it by typing user dot uh, comments. So if you ask why this is something uh, that we that we might add, because uh, for example, if you have like a feed for a specific user, you might show that this user commented these on this thing. Yeah, something like this. And yeah, the column will be a user ID. So each comment, so each user has many IDs, and you reference them by this, by the user ID. So now, right now, it's correct. It's complaining because the comment does not exist on type user entity. We will fix that. Okay. Another thing we need to do uh, is many. So it looks pretty much the same, but what? So many to one with another table, which is uh, the post. So to have a post property of type post entity. Okay, and the same thing. The first callback will return the post. Sorry, yeah, the post. Correct. The post entity. The second callback will have an argument of type of type post entity I'll call it post to return the post dot comments we don't have it right now it will but I will add it and I will copy this one so I think that's it for the comments uh, entity and also I'm extending the generic entity so we have created at and updated at um, I think it's fine let's go to the post entity now which is here and uh, at the bottom I would add so one instance of the post entity will have many comments yeah you don't need to understand them like this but uh, I usually think about uh, about them like this so this will reference the return the comment uh, I think I did um, something I think you notice that I didn't change the name so this would be comment entity and yeah that's why we have this was not uh, complaining yes Correct. Now, there we need to return the comment entity. Yes. Uh, the second argument will be callback function as well. So, comment of type comment entity. As we return comment dot post. And uh, I will have I will name this column this property I will name this property comments to be an array of comments 
entity. I hope it's not. Uh, I hope the recording is not laggy. So, yes, and also I will copy this. So cascade delete and on cascade on on delete cascade on update cascade. Okay, now we still have one error. It's the the user does not have the comments property. So we can actually copy just copy this and put it inside the users go to entities and at the bottom just add it like this and fix the references. So that's it. So each each user have many posts each post have has uh, many comments and the user has uh, both of them many, many posts many comments um, and each comment belongs to exactly one post so the next thing we need to do is go to the comment module and here inside the object pass to the decorator module uh, add the imports array so I will use the type the for feature static method I'll pass to it an array with our comment entity and inside the app module where yes here add the comment Entity. Okay, so npm run dev run sorry run start dev. So now we should see our uh, tables. I will open the beaver until this happens. Hopefully we don't see any errors. I think we don't. We won't. But let me just. Uh, Yes, I'll open new terminal. Yes, here. I'll type uh, nest g. It's not, yes, nest g. And uh, generate a controller. Oops. A controller. So everything should, I think everything is fine. I'll just stop the server. So the name of the controller will be comments. No, sorry, comment. This is the comment controller, which will be prefixed by comment. Yeah, I don't need to check uh, manually. I can see what where uh, the CLI adds it, added, added it. So another thing I will generate is the service. Wow, this is <laughs> really small. Okay, so as you can see, we have the three entities, the three tables and the relations between them created ad as well and updated ad but uh, i'm not sure why in the users they are at the bottom and uh, maybe i have a theory maybe type or m sorts them no no because about is no I, i'm not sure why if i figured this out i will uh, tell you uh, but yeah i think this is as we wanted to be okay let's just finish uh Let's just finish the service, injecting the repository, so the service will be comment. Sometimes this happens for me, I need to type, to click this uh, refresh, so Visual Studio will show me the code. So I'll go to the comment service, here. 
constructor so yes inject repository pass to it uh, comment entity private uh, read only comment repo repo repository generic type is the comment entity so i think that's it uh, next time i will do the likes entity